Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. It's very exciting that we can actually be here in person again. It's been a while, but it's great to see so many familiar faces. Um, it's been a difficult two years for us because of the pandemic. Um, in 2020, we, we were essentially shut down. The uh, library was closed and our office was in the, the library, so we couldn't get to our library. Fortunately, we had uh, access to all the information that we put on a website, and that's continued to be updated. So, but um, in 2021, again, when the library did open, but it didn't uh, allow the use of its um, meeting rooms. So we decided to um, have our board meetings every other month by Zoom. Penny Patterson serves as VP of Corporate Affairs and the ProMega Board of Directors. She works with the Corporate Affairs team in corporate communications, community media, custom relations, strategic information, and philanthropic support. The outreach that she does for ProMega to keep city leaders in the community up to speed has been second to none. Um, you always get the standard corporate highlights slide, don't you? Um, started in 78, so some of you were here before ProMega for sure. Um, and uh, the, the thing I'd just like to do is a shout out to the UW-Madison as well. That founding 1978 was Bill Linton, who was our CEO and founder. Um, he was a pharmaceutical chemistry student at the time at the UW-Madison. And he came up with this idea to make tools um, for uh, uh, researchers who were working in molecular biology. And the particular tool he said he could make was an enzyme, something that cuts DNA. And don't, that's the science as we get. Don't worry, it won't go any further than that. Um, but, we, um, but, he, but he said, you know, if I make this for you, then you don't have to make it for yourself, because that's what was happening. Scientists were fashioning a lot of their own tools before they were running their experiments. So Bill said, I can make you a pair of DNA scissors that'll work the same every time, and there won't be any variability. And so with that, he began to make tools. So you sell products to these people, and they do some stuff, but really, what do you, what is it? What is it? What these things do are, are all across the board. We sell 4,000 different products because this piece right here is a little representational of a cell. A single cell is crazy complicated. It has got incredible machinery in it. And researchers are constantly and chronically trying to learn more about how things work, what turns on, what turns off, what kills a cancer cell without hurting any other cells. Um, is, a, is a primary example. So there are a lot of tools that you need to use to understand what's happening inside of a cell. And more specifically, our tools, some of the things they do, um, primarily are we said purifying and amplifying, but purifying, being able to pull things out of a cell, being able to pull DNA out of a cell, pull mRNA out of a cell, RNA you heard a lot about during COVID, so pull the pieces out. Another thing they do is often they're watching, observing. We use a, a something called bioluminescence technology based on the firefly, um, bioluminescent shrimp. Um, it's a technology that replaced a lot of radioactive technologies, and it helps scientists see what's going on in the cell. Sometimes it helped them understand what happened after an experiment, but more and more they're able to watch real time what's happening in life inside of a cell. I know, mind blowing, right? Um, and then uh, analyzing, I'm sure this uh, last image looks familiar to Alan. Um, this, is, uh, this is showing a DNA analysis. Um, it's something obviously we talked about before, used in forensic study a lot. Uh, overall, every once in a while we look at our impact in Wisconsin alone, Wisconsin, uh, uh, sorry, Promega has about a billion dollar impact in the state. Um, and it's just an interesting thing as we do these assessments, taking a look at our vendors, uh, about 50% of our vendors come within a 50 mile radius of Fitchburg. And that becomes meaningful for responsiveness, for relationship, and obviously for impact to local economy. I believe one of the board members had challenged Bill. He said, you know, where is, where's Promega going? What's going on with this? And, and you know, where, where, what do you want to do next? And Bill, you know, gave it some thought. And he said, you know, really, the, the business is great, but what it's about are the people who make this business happen. Because as you can see, as science discovers, we keep following the discoveries and supporting those discoveries and growing with them. So to be able to say we're gonna be about X would 
perhaps close the door to Y and Z and A. So we look at the people and how incredible they are and how they can imagine the unimaginable.